Hey, what's going on, YouTube family? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here and this is your first time seeing my face, my name is Mark. Please remember to slash that like button. And also, I know, I know before you get started, I know there's some people in the back. You got commitment issues. I got commitment issues. But I got a problem that'll solve and remedy all of that. So why don't you just annihilate that subscribe button. And also, to keep up to date with me, hit that post notification bell. And if you still have reservations about it, you can still think of this like a swipe left on Tinder like we doing a YouTube dating process but and also leave me comments down below but I think I've talked enough so let's just jump straight into these videos let's go they call me Megatron Jordy's a Megacon it ain't about Illusion. Oh, okay. I like how this is starting off already. I'm getting a definition on the screen. All right. When you're talking to yourself. Okay. Ooh, I love the vocals on here. Okay, I want to pause it real quickly because I want to talk about his vibrato for a second and the way he's singing and no pun intended to the way that the title of this song being called is strange, but it's so funny on the way that he's enunciating and utilizing his voice and manipulating it. It's almost that when I think of the word estranged where I think it's almost irrecognizable and something that you're not familiar with when I think of um, what the word estranged means to me and the definition and me getting into this of being caught it's almost the way he's almost utilizing and singing with his voice it's almost like his voice is almost not familiar to him but it's in a good way if that makes sense if you understand and following what I'm trying to say like it's almost like his his voice is not familiar with with his body within his vocal cords and the way he's projecting his voice and it's very creative I don't think I've ever heard of a group or even just a solo artist sing in that type of tone and in that type of projection in that type of way. I like that. That's very creative to do that. So let me take this back. I 
almost love how his voice sounds like a whisper in a, in a, in a wind, like how he's utilizing his voice. And that's where I was getting at and deriving that, where I was saying that his voice doesn't sound familiar to him. It's almost like he's creeping up onto it and trying to ease up onto it to try to recognize what it is. The way he's manipulating his voice and to be able to cut through the, the instrument play that's being of how it's being projected um throughout this track so far is amazing and i'm only one minute and 58 seconds onto this track and this is pure art and pure genius being put on for display amazing that's all i can say is amazing like whoa like can my vocabulary please expand but it's guns and roses so i mean they minimize my vocabulary a lot so let's jump back into this
And I want to pause it real quickly because like I said, when I was thinking of like a strange, at least for me personally, and what I thought was so dope and was so creative is how they sat there and actually implemented different definitions of how what a strange means and the different varying definitions and various definitions of what a strange means. I thought that that was um, very creative on their part and to just explain that um, a strange can mean so many different things. But for me, what I love about them and what I'm starting to realize is that they are almost reminiscent of like Led Zeppelin in a way because Led Zeppelin's music, it makes me go on different types of tangents where I can go off like on a completely different type of rant of not, of like, like Led Zeppelin could have a, a vision for what their music actually means, but for them but for me it means something completely different and that's what guns and roses just did for me because when i thought of a strange i was thinking of them not having no familiarity with with the song or the lyrics or just with the, or any connection anymore with the song or being unrecognizable and it was just like i guess me being technical and over analytical and me trying to um, overanalyze because I tend to um, overanalyze a lot of things and I don't just listen to lyrics I try to listen to everything and just when I was listening to the way he was singing his voice was almost unrecognizable it was like he was trying to get familiar within himself and familiar with the tune trying to get in, in familiar with the rhythm trying to get back in touch with it trying to grasp the concept of the music and everything and just trying to get back one and and trying to become back cohesive if that makes sense with the um, music and trying to get a understanding of what it is and draw that connection like I felt like there was like this disconnect and that's what I felt like it was in his voice but I, like I said it was a disconnect in a very amazing and profound and impactful way that made me think of music in such a different aspect if that makes sense because it's like whoa like how how genius can you be like i did my reaction to november rain and i'm like okay this is phenomenal and then i did um civil war and then i'm like whoa like can you get any better than that and now i'm doing a reaction to a strange and i'm like whoa like you just took a dictionary word and just flipped it on its head and just made me think of something that was like totally not the avenue of what you were getting at on the track, if that makes sense. And like my mind is like absolutely boggled right now at how genius they are as a group and as a collective unit of how they make me think. They are absolutely phenomenal at doing that. Let me take it back a little bit for pausing it.
imagery. They are masters at imagery. I will say that and give you an amazing ass visual. Excuse my language. of being dischanted, just chanted. The way Axel just sits there and makes con uh, he is phenomenal, 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 phenomenal. He is just dope. This is where we will. Okay, so we, let's quickly talk about um, Guns N' Roses with a strange. And I want to say I love how Axl Rose just connects with the lyrics of a song. Like, he just epitomizes like an angel being descent, like ascending from heaven. And just like you meeting the, meeting the angel like head on. The way that he just connects and... It's so vulnerable and just so passionate and so aware and so self-conscious on a track is so mind-blowing like I love how transparent he is on the track like it's almost like I could see through his soul when he's singing because I believe everything he says just with the opening of his mouth and like I he can sing the ABCs forward and backwards and he could have just sung it backwards and go from Z to A and I, and I would believe it and think that that's the way that the ABCs is supposed that I would think that that's the alphabetical order of the ABCs because that's how gifted he is as a talent to sit there and convince you of what he's saying and like I said through the reaction when I think of a strange and the way that he chose to use his genius to attack this track of manipulating his voice where I almost felt like his voice was unfamiliar to his body is insane. Like it almost was like his voice belonged with inside the body of someone else. And he just like almost, I want to say stripped it lustfully from someone else and put it in his body and he was trying to become more aware more aware more self-conscious more present and more one with it if that makes sense because I felt like and he did it on purpose and that's what's so genius about it because it made you think like he's so disconnected but at the same time he's so connected with the lyrics if that makes sense like it was almost being that he was so unaware of what he was saying but you believed everything that he was saying on the track like this was phenomenal like I thought 
Civil War was mind blowing and then I thought November Rain was mind blowing and then I'm listening to Strange and I'm like damn like how mind blowing can you be of a group and like I always say I don't try to sit there and be some type of um metal or rock type of guru because this is like my these are my first times in reacting to artists of this caliber because I've come from the hip hop and rap realm but I'm so glad that I'm being exposed to them as artists and being able to open up my horizon and be and knowing that music is not monolithic is it's, it allows you to step outside your comfort zone of what you are comfortable in and it allows you to get accustomed to different varieties of music and it, it allows you to see that oh okay it opens up your horizon it opens up your mind to be like whoa music is completely different it's not one dimensional it's actually multifaceted and it allows people to express and show their artistry on full display and that's what Axl Rose and Guns N' Roses did. That guitar solo itself was amazing. I could have listened to a guitar solo from beginning to end for t almost 10 minutes and would have been mind blown and that could have been called estranged because even in the nuances of that was just perfection. And I wanted to make sure that I didn't pause and that and if I get copywritten or whatever, I have to keep trying to re-upload just because of that, I will take that risk because th that was phenomenal. Like, I just loved it. And I just love how enamored and, and caught in a rapture that I got within this because that was... It made me so self-present, it made me aware, it made me self-conscious. I thought that this was beautiful, it was executed very, very well, and that was phenomenal. I loved it. So let me know what you thought of, of A Strange by Guns N' Roses in the comments below. And with that being said, please remember to be safe out there. Remember to stay awesome, be awesome, because you guys are all awesome. This is your boy Mark, and I'm signing off. Deuces. Peace. Call me Megatron. Shorty's a Megacon. It ain't about the race either. It's a marathon.